over the years, there's been such a lot of trouble, as I'll explain to you in a minute, that some more up-to-date versions of new engines have been fitted. The chief them in its original form, and a very unfortunate habit of breaking down. And still, you'll always tell when chief comes on the move by a great big cloud of blue grey smoke that follows it around, which is typical of the diesel engine. That's the ARRV going over the mound, the bridge layer lining up to follow it. The bridge layer, as I said before, works entirely on hydraulics. And it's used, it can carry a flat bridge, which it carries upside down. Or what's known as a scissors bridge, a thing that undoes that bridge. A pair of scissors to cross wide gaps. And those would normally be stowed on top of the vehicle and launched when it comes to an obstacle. There have been bridge laying tanks since the First World War, so it's not exactly a new idea, but with the, um, the advent of um, hydraulic activity like that, you really can produce a most remarkable bridge, and it can be laid by a skilled operator with incredible accuracy. The armor repair and recovery vehicle is at the far end of the arena from me. Um, one of the things to note is how high the driver sits up. It's to give him a view over things like the winch assembly and the dozer plate. He's coming up over the bridge now. Um, it's a, it must be like driving a vehicle from the top deck of a bus into the double deck bus. 